that it did happen, a game night, but my ISP decided to crap out and a maintenance issue, and it wasn't supposed to be back up until like an hour and a half after the game, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and move right now then. Of course, so they ended up bringing it back up. It was literally like, what, 10, 15 minutes into the session that this happened? Uh, yeah, right around Somewhere. there. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I was thinking it was pretty early because we barely even started. Um, long enough for y'all to get in front of that door. So we're basically kind of doing a restart on that session. And uh, before we get into the night's action, let's go around and see how everyone's been these last few weeks. So uh, who wants to tell us how their holidays was or off time? Mine was pretty good. Got a few things done here and there. Uh, built, well, I don't want to say built. I put together a new TV stand that we got for Christmas. That was a huge pain in the ass. Other than that, nothing too eventful. Yeah, any of those things you got to put together like that, there's usually a million parts. Yeah, and then the cats think that they, like, it's theirs, so then, like, when I have, like, the screws and bolts, like, laid out, they come up, and they, like, start to bat them over it, around, and then I gotta find them, and that makes it even uh, more fun. I got a solution for that, man. Oh, yeah, you me put too. put the vacuum cleaner right next to you, and as soon as they get close, turn the vacuum cleaner on, man, they all scatter. Yeah, they're scared of the hand vacuum we got. So just chase them with that. But <laughs> yeah, it was a good couple of weeks. Busy. Uh, glad to see the holidays behind us at this point. Made some money and ready to get back into some D and D games. It sound like you were busy, man. It's yeah. No, the holidays are always busy for us. We weren't sure how this year was going to be, but it definitely did not slow down. about you there uh norwin or uh, uh it ain't no uh, different just uh glad the holidays are over but uh we had a good christmas no, no complaints yeah kind of the same for me uh for the most part i just worked i had like one extra day off here and there but, but it was all right was, that's good man Mine was, uh, I guess you could say mine was busy because I had to move. And then I had to go back out and clean the place up, make sure I, you know, I'd get a proper uh, turning on my keys and walk through with them. And then, uh, of course, the holidays and unexpected uh, circumstances with having to go back and forth to pick my daughter up, take her back, and pick her up and take her back. It's like multiple trips I ended up having to make. Luckily, a couple of the trips was just halfway, so that worked out for me. But, yeah, it's been pretty busy. So I guess we're going to be out, Jax and um, Sandman, which is Roth. So, last session... You all moved into the Fane of the Night Serpent via a secret entrance. You had learned about this entrance from this Yanti that you had taken hostage during combat. And uh, once you got inside eh, 20, 30 foot, you were immediately uh, engaged by some Yanti or not necessarily Yanti. They're uh, little minions, if you want to call them that. And then that took several rounds. I don't think y'all were ever truly threatened. But more had poured in from another room. Y'all took them down too. And then y'all met a young hostage named Cody. And there was numerous other uh, hostages as well in the same little room he was in. Y'all tried to convince him that y'all could uh, 
set him free and his uh, companions as well, but they all refused your offer. They seem like they were just too dead set on uh, that they would get caught. But he did enlighten you all with some details of each of the rooms throughout the fane, except for a few areas that he had never been permitted in. And y'all turned your attention to the door to the south, or not south, the northeast. And y'all, as y'all got up to the door, ready to pop in, whatever y'all were going to do, this is where we left off. Did I leave anything out that y'all think's relevant? Nova, uh, can you share the map and do you have any music? I do. Dope. For whatever reason, it wants to tell me that I don't have the D and D Tomb of Annihilation module loaded, and I, like I've even unloaded it and loaded it back up to see if it worked. Really? But nothing. Okay, you got. You're, you're able to see the map now, though, right? Yep, just adjusting the size. Thank you. All right, so who was in the front? Storm, all right, cool. Who wants to control San or, uh, Roth, and who wants to control uh, Jack? Not it. Or we can just have them play tag Listen. along and uh, they'll just do a dodge action if y'all enter combat for every round. Um, I, I think I know generally what Jack was going for, so I can play Jack. Okay, it should be available to select. To and what you say? We need uh, someone to play Roth. I said, I guess if we need someone to play Roth, I can. I don't. I'm not super versed with paladins, but. Should be selectable. The last time I played a character, we almost died. So I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to have him do the Warlock thing, thing pretty much. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> And I don't need to have anything special loaded to run this character, do I? I don't think so. Okay, so you're at this door, Storm. And I do not remember if y'all had... Uh, tried to enter yet. I think we left off right at the door. Well, we were having issues with that. my internet when it went out. I believe so, yes. Um, you know, uh, check the door, see if there's anything on it, check for traps, check and see if it's locked. Isn't that your yeah, job? I thought we were just fixing to open it. That's what I thought happened. You may be right. I, I vaguely remember, if, I feel like you had already picked the lock on the door. Or had you used a key? Did we have, did we have a key? I'm pretty sure y'all did have a key. If one of the guards had a key we looted the guards it's uh, probably still in the party loot uh sheet but you didn't yeah. find any traps all right 
then I will uh, open the door. Okay, as you open the door, you see stacks of sturdy wood crates and uh, bundles of cloth and uh, some clay amphorae. I'm not even sure how you say that word. They litter the floor. I usually look these words up beforehand, but that one got by me. All right, I will uh, step into the room, start to pull out my the ten foot pole, and check as I walk into the room. Roll a perception check. Didn't you all say that this was, like, the armory room? Uh, no, this is just a storage room. The armory room is to the north, uh, northeast, northwest. To your left, you notice a, uh, serpent-like tail. Um, sticking out from behind those barrels in the corner. Like something that looks like it's living? Well, it could be. It's not moving, though. Alright. The barrel, wait, to the barrels to my right? Yes, directly to your right. I am going to try and slowly sneak up to the barrels and uh, circle. So there's like a, so the tail's coming out between the barrel and the wall here, or between the barrel and like the middle of the room. It's over on the right side of the barrels, the tail. Between that, where the barrel's at and that uh, crate on the right side. Okay, so it's okay. It's coming down that right wall. Okay, right, not not right next to the door, but over there. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to try and stay low and sneak and try and stay, uh, see if I can sneak up and find out what that is. What's attached to the other end of this, of the uh, tail. Okay, what are you hiding behind? Well, is it, uh, the barrels themselves. Like, if there's something on the other side of the barrels, using the barrels to sneak around to find out what's there. You know, kind of like if there's something on the other side of the barrels, trying to do my best to stay low and around the barrels. Just because he knows I'm on the other side of the barrels doesn't necessarily know he mean they know where I am on the other side of the barrels. Okay, as you move in to the room, um, you see a gap between those barrels just to your south there. And you do see his face. As he's kind of curled up back there. And uh, the best he can anyway. Just imagine the barrels aren't that close to the wall, so he's got room to kind of curl up somewhat along the wall at least anyway but it is watching you but it has not made a move towards you I'm going to kind of signal to everyone else to be quiet and I only see the one that's all you see currently, yeah. I'll go under and help him. 
I am I am going to uh, try and make an attack at it. Pull, uh, pull out my rapier too. Okay. Um, like I'm not like I'm trying to make in a like jump at it and like don't like I'm gonna not necessarily attack it but try and startle it into doing something like basically you know what are you doing what are you looking for type like all of a sudden make some sudden movement towards it see if it jumps obviously i know it sees me so i know i can't get a surprise attack on it but i want to make sure it knows that i'm there okay um roll initiative i want to see where this is going to go Brother, I kind of hate when he goes off ahead. He never really relays any information. Love it. He just kills things. Yeah, we just get up there and then he's like, I don't know what happened. They're dead. Okay, so you basically jump at it kind of like in a I don't know. You got somebody that's acting like he's a tough guy but he really don't want to fight kind of you know motion i'm guessing more or less yeah like i'm drawing both my my weapons at once and like basically trying to scare whatever whoever this is give me intimidation check Nice storm. Actually, something that I can kind of do. It, it kind of draws back, not like in a striking manner, but like it's trying to get a further away from you, his head. Kind of retreats it back into where his body's curled up a little bit in a protective manner. Come out now. Are you talking to me? There's something in here. There's something in here. Please don't hurt me. I do not wish to fight you. What are you doing in here? I stay in this room and just... Guard the room and chat with the Yanti whenever they come by. Aren't you Yanti? No. He'll come out from behind the uh, barrels. I'm going to need to move you back, though. Yep, that's fine. Damn. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, Snake's obviously not gonna take up that many squares in a square. <laughs> not gonna fill it. For long, you know? But that's how the game's coded in. You can't do fast grounds with, like, rectangle uh, tokens. So, Azimas, I am no Yanti. If you're no Yanti, then what are you? I am exactly what you see. And what is it that we like, see? What is he, just a snake? It's a giant constrictor snake.
So you you guard this room for the Yanti? More or less. They do keep me fed. I just basically serve as a custodian for the provisions of this room. I check them and mentally catalog them. But mostly I stay coiled in the shadows. Very bored. And what is it they've been feeding you? Well, other creatures which they do not care for. Brother, it's a giant snake. And then speaking into Storm's mind, I'm going to say, I don't trust a giant talking snake. I say we just kill it now and be over with it. You say that out loud? No, it no. is mine. And you'll, if you can see me, you'll just see me nod my head yes. Well. I'm going to do an insight check on that. Because Storm has never agreed with my plans. Well, it's, I mean... I guess you roll against him, uh. I'm not trying to deceive anything. It's yeah, it's flat out, yeah. No, I I have no love for this creature at this at the moment I'm talking to him because it figure at best it may give the rest of you a chance to attack him. At worst, I'll get some information out of him. Brother Storm's giving me the signal. If you agree I'm gonna charge in. Well oh, we're, we're here to kill snakes. How long how long have you been here in this place working for the Yanti I've been here for uh, quite a while um, I'm not very good at time especially when I stay here all the time I can't see this the light come and go So what what's worth say, what's worth guarding in this room? Why would they have someone like you in here? Well, we have uh, explorers packs. We have incense and just rations and such. Speaking into my brother's mind, I'll say, Brother, I can't think of anything cool to say when I go in the room. If you've got something, let me know, and then I'll go in. Well, my friend, why would you let uh, let myself and my comrade here into this room if it's your job to to protect it? Why were you hiding? I'm no fool. I can see I'm clearly outmatched. I do not wish to die. Wait, that's my cue. Well, you will today. And then I'm going to take a swing as I cast Booming oh. Blade. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm trying to act like a statue so you don't see me. Everybody, Everybody's rolled initiative, right? Uh, I haven't. Oh, no. I don't think I didn't for Roth. Sorry. Okay. Well, just for just for us. Oh, everybody's in initiative. Since he's jumping in, I'm gonna allow him to have his one round. I thought of something of cool to say. <laughs> and then we're gonna go by initiative order. How do I roll for Jack? You have to uh, you need, select his. You don't need portrait. to click on his uh, portrait. Do you have his token or his portrait even loaded up? Go to characters and then load his character sheet up, and then yeah, you switch back and forth by clicking on the on the portraits. Yeah, you when you go to the characters, 
there, his should be available to select for you now. Characters. On the right hand side. If you don't have it that button available, you need to go down to uh, library. And in the upper portion there, you'll see uh, one of them that says uh, characters you need to fill that bubble in. Oh, yep. I didn't have that. I wouldn't use Booming Blade. Oh, it's already too late. I already did. Uh, go ahead, uh, Aka, while everybody's doing their thing. Go ahead and do your free round. All right, uh, I already swung to attack, but I just wanted to wait till you gave me the go-ahead from there, so I'll go ahead and swing okay. the damage. Good news. I'm already rolling better than Jack. Perfect. I mean, I'm rolling better. <laughs> I'm rolling better. All right. So you do eight yeah, you damage. And then it becomes encased in the booming energy and... Then I've uh, rolled initiative for myself already. So I guess we begin combat. Alimar, you are. Ugh. I'm going to swing twice. Yeah, uh, so the person who normally plays Jax isn't here, and my uh, little brother is actually playing the character, and it, he's uh, Jax usually rolls really bad, <laughs> so should be a little bit better for us. All right, I'm going to try to move just a little bit so that people in. in. The prime sub there, Bootsy. He, he put some of his abilities in the actions that aren't necessarily actions. <laughs> that might be why some of his stuff's kind of messed up. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? Um, Jack Sheet. Yeah, but which abilities are you talking about? Uh, like the... Undying Warlock. I actually like need to sight. redo some of those things for the points. I want to like unlock emotes, but I have to make emotes. Um, well, and they're um, they've got to be underneath also, abilities if um, or under actions if it's like a, a uh, uh, you know like a drinking what do you call one. It? If it's an effect he has to put on like the make character. Make sure you drink your water. I thought that was just a thing that you know, stupid shit like that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, these don't have any effects. I didn't toggle yeah. it just to check. Redeem 9,000 points to give me a and redemption they don't have, thing to it, do. They don't have anything <laughs> written under it. You ain't got no code of what you're saying. Yeah. It's just kind of there to remind. But anyway, my turn. Aka is a little bit smaller than usual. Uh... Oh, yeah. I guess I am. Oh, now I'm not. Oops. Up. Okay, I'm gonna move up there. So now that you're streaming, Bubba, you gotta come play D and D and give yourself some. Uh, I can disadvantage content. with Firebolt, right? And then I'll have to come play some of the games with you so I can give myself different content. <laughs> Disadvantage for I actually just got this game yeah. called Can Outward that a buddy recommended. Uh, you should check it out. You might like it that kind of style, spell. and then we could maybe play like a co-op in that or something. I just didn't know because you said he wasn't mean. that big. He was just long. That's a tricky one. I mean, I think... I guess we'll go with rules as wit written, I guess, since it is a ranged spell, but I don't really know. I mean, look at the spell. Link it real quick if you can. 
Let's see what I interpret on that. I'm pretty sure normally it would. It'll probably give me an automatic. But actually, I might just move up I'm to here say, to be sure. I'm going to let you roll it. Well, if you're going to move over there, never mind. But I was going to say, I'm going to let you roll the damn thing at normal. I, I, I mean, think Fantasy I Grounds like would have just like automatically done it, though. With the the combat tracker possible, with the, the combat thing, maybe. Yeah, the game's called Outward. It's like an RPG, um, but like all the skills and stuff you have are based on what you equip. It's pretty neat. Um, I actually have a VOD Big on damage. it and on my YouTube and stuff if you want to check it out. Yeah, as your fireboat finds its, uh, its home. And as I shoot the fireboat, I go, Aka, you didn't kill it right. It, uh, I killed it just fine. Looks at uh, Aka and tries to attack him, but more out of uh, fear for dying than anything. Way to start it out. Ouch. So the switch moved to <laughs> 22 points of bite damage. Is he just, just, he's very panicked and he just reaches out and grabs a hold of you with his bite attack. And, uh, yeah, he gets you right on the neck, shoulder in the neck. Ugh, son of a bitch. Like, reactively, I'll be, like, reaching out towards it to, like, try to block it, but it just, like, goes right in between my index and thumb. Just miss it. <laughs> I believe that's going to be it. All right, there you go. Do, do the thing. Do the thing. Uh, what thing? Where you shoot it with uh, that energy. Pew pew. Oh, there it is. Jack moves forward, launching an Eldritch Blast and. He had to go a little high with it to get it over the top of Aka. And unfortunately, it sailed over the top of the giant constrictor snake as well, hitting the cart just to the right of Storm. And then he gets used to it on the second hit. Just like Jack would roll. A little bit better. I've rolled over 10. Shots fired. <laughs> yeah, but when he hits, he rolls low damage. True. Not a one, though, so I'll take it. That is I true. I have to embody the being of Jack, you know? Wish you all no harm. But you force me to defend myself. And how many slaves have they fed you as I attack him with a rapier? Dang it, that was much cooler of a uh, sentence than what I said. Take your rapier and uh, stab at him. 
laying a really nice blow for 18 points of piercing damage. And then so critical. And my bonus action is going to be attacking with my scimitar. What's that Jack thing come up for? I was trying to scroll through the chat and I accidentally clicked it. Yeah. You messed me up because I was going to, so when I seen him hit, I was going to tell him, how do you want to do this? But then all of a sudden something else popped up and I scrolled it. So yeah, I'll, I sliced through with the first one, and then with the, my second attack, I just lop off its head. Because it's pretty obvious he only had one hit point left, so as soon as you hit, I knew he was dead. <laughs> I figured he had to be close. That's the only reason I attacked with that second one. I'm like, man, as long as I can hit with the second one, it, it should be it should go down at this point. Yeah, and you do. You chop its head off, and... Uh... Combat is over. Poor snake. He would just want some friends. Says Alimar, who run in, run in and uh, tried to attack him as well. He just happened to roll up. Uh, Sam, man, I just released Roth. So oh, once you What's jump up, in, Sam? once you jump in, you should be able to grab him. All right, I can't get in for some reason. So uh, I new connect. IP. You got yeah. new IP in chat and Discord. Don't say it out loud though, because we're streaming. Wait, I didn't even have to change that. Change what? You're probably using the nickname instead of the IP address. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I live in a new location now, uh, Sandman. Okay. And, uh, so I got a new IP and all that, of course. All right. So while we wait for Rolf to connect, um, you have this dead constrictor snake here. And you have this room, which was supposed to hold provisions and such. What do you want to do? Well, I'll dig around the boxes for food. I'll guard the door. Okay, so as you um, dig around, you, go, you spend uh, probably 10 minutes or so hastily going through the stuff and... Uh, you have enough stuff here to put together five explorers packs. I'll start putting stuff in. Oh, that's a lot. I might want to give some to those prisoners. And, um, there was the incense. There's 50 bolts of cloth. And there's uh, six crates that got bronze bars in them. Three barrels of salt and spices. We can take the salt and run it around it so the snakes can't come crawl crawling. I don't know if that works or not. I am gonna Brother. take um eight rations out of that. Yeah, I think those rations are a good idea. Don't you say that you needed some brother? Yeah, I think I think everything else might be a little much. We just distribute the rations. Well, like I said the those people out there, I have no problem with helping them if they want to be helped. But right now, they don't want to be helped. Yeah, we can just leave the stuff in front of them. If they don't want it, they can leave it. Yeah, 
I've only got one more ration left, and it seems that we're going to be here for quite a quite a bit longer. So, unless that you wish to make us food every day with the power that you possess, then I'm definitely going to need some of those. Yeah, I'm going to take five of the rations. There should be plenty. There's 60 in total. 50 or so, yeah, it should be 50 or 60. Okay, what about the uh, cloth or the bronze bars or the incense? The bronze bars, I mean, that's cash. If we have, if anybody has a bag of holding or something like that to throw those in, I would definitely suggest um, us taking those. No, uh, should I just leave the rest from this pack and just take the food? We don't need the rope or anything, right? I mean, we could always come back for it. The The bag of holding, the two bags of holding that we had should be here. Well, let's look around. Well, not, I don't mean not in this room, I have a, but definitely with the auntie. I have a bag of holding. Oh, well, good. Well, look at that. Chuck as much of this in the air as you can. Then let's get the hell out of here. All right. Clue, I'm going to ease down the hall and listen. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what these bronze bars are going to weigh. Well, if we put them in a bag of holding, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Yeah, just as long as they don't weigh more than 600 pounds. Which I believe they don't. And 500 pounds would be... 500? I am wrong. So I'm going to say bronze bars, probably two inches thick, about six, seven inches long and maybe about two and a half three inches wide they do they have a if they've got a parcel set up for it it should have a weight in the parcel they don't have a parcel unfortunately gotcha all right well whatever it like a so bag of holding doesn't matter at this point unless we unless this bag of holding is super full no i don't have a whole lot of stuff in it all right so we'll say each each Bronze bar weighs 10 pounds. That's what I'm going to go with. And a crate probably could hold mm, 20 times. Let's we'll say there's 100 bars in each crate. That's just a good number. So each crate. It's got a thousand pounds worth of bars in it. Oh wait, I thought we were talking about like. I I thought we were talking about six bars of bronze here. Was it six bars? That's what I thought you said. Six bars. Six. six Yeah, we definitely don't need that many. (laughs) Six crates of bronze bars. Six crates. Okay, that's different. That's why I was like, wait a second. Like, yeah. Well, we'll come back for that then. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So I thought you said uh, six. I, I, I thought you said six bars of bronze, and I'm like, what? Let's just throw the six bars of bronze in there and let's go. Six crates. Okay, that we'll come back for that. Yeah, about six thousand pounds worth of bars there. I, I mean, mean bronze bearings. It's probably way off from what I'm quoting y'all, but they didn't put a parcel in to pay for it, and I don't think there's a bronze bar in the items list. So I'm just giving y'all a number. Gotcha. Look, just make sure to grab the food. I'm grabbing what food I want. All right. So as you move up to this uh, hallway. How do you adjust uh, the numbers? 
individually. You can just like, click on it and type. Mine's not working. What number are you trying to adjust? There we go. I get to double click. Like the it. number of rations. I get it. Okay. You look uh, to your right. The hallways are lit up. Very nice here. A couple lights on the walls. Um, but down to the east, you see a door. And back to the left, you see uh, a ramp that goes up. I hear anything. Give me a perception roll. You do not. All right, I'm going to ease out. Let them come on. Let them figure out which way we're going. I'll have Jack do far hearing up the ramp into that room. Which room are you trying to? Up the ramp. Oh. Don't hear anything up there. Uh, Storm will come out and pass by Jack and start going up the ramp. Slowly making his way up. His pole in front of him, chest testing as we go. When I oh, get to the this way. When I get to the top here, I peek my head out and kind of look around the corner to see what I can see. This pillar hall um, has reliefs on the walls of giant serpents. And it's Yanti worshippers doing terrible things. All right, like well, tax evasion. No. I can see the room to the weapons room over here. Um, I don't see anybody in this hall, but it's hard to say what's it, what else is around the corner. I did not hear anything. All right. Taking my pole and checking the next couple of squares, see if anything happens. If not, give me a perception roll. Bound to happen. And slowly come out, trying to stay in kind of behind the pillars the best I can. Moving to the next with my pole, still checking, uh, checking this as I as I move. You know, wanted to make sure that there isn't any sort of traps or anything. Okay. Jack, give me perception. I am Jack. You just rolling just like him. 
It's probably because you said that you're, hey, I'm rolling better than him. And then it was like, oh, yeah? <laughs> I flipped the Did jack switch. Flipped the, flip the jack character she switched. <laughs> Just make I knew sure it. <laughs> that you have uh, your character selected most of the time so you don't get all of his luck. It might get off on me. Cool. Right. The, the virus is already in my computer. I opened it. <laughs> I guess also Storm and Jack, give me stealth checks as well. I know you're not trying to stealth particularly, but I want to see how quiet you two are uh, if uh if i'm moving i am trying to be as quiet as possible especially when okay. in situa situations with like this kitty softballs with every roll i'm thinking it might be bugged <laughs> each time Let me check one more. Okay, that was just a test. Disregard that. Actually, I'm going by passive. Does a tie go to the PC? Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think it, it beats no, it. No, no, no I'm it's thinking like... a different. I'm thinking if their passive perception is what you just rolled. It doesn't. I don't think stealth. it works that way. It's. It depends on like what what it is. So if they're trying to stealth and it's their passive perception, if it if their passive perception meets it, then they can be seen. It's okay. not like it goes to the player or it goes to the uh, NPC. The only time it really does that, I believe, is an initiative. It looks like we got company, guys. You hear from the north end of the hallway. Well, it sounds like we got company, guys. These people are to the north. And Jack, you will see, and I guess uh, Stormwell, when he hears this being yelled out, a couple yachty and they start moving south you hear another voice from behind them that you can't see from where you're at capture them if you can otherwise kill them I'm going to reach up to open this, see if I can open this door, to see if this door is locked or not, right in okay. front of me. Everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Storm, if that door is trapped, that's going to suck. Uh, first one, not the, the 12, not the 20. Yeah, I hit the button instead the of the... The door is locked. Well, Vendor's not affected by the by the virus yet. Now he will be. Oh, <laughs> I got wood. It kind of cut out there, so it sounded like you said I got wood. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Oh, okay. Ew, gross. Okay, everybody rolled initiative? Yep, I did. Yeah, but... I I hit my shortcut and double clicked it, so it should be twelve, not twenty-one. Are the dice rolling slow for anybody else, or is it just me? Fine on my end. It's been fine on my end. I wonder if it's Wait because I have all those modules loaded. I guess I was trying to figure out which one it was. I, I can't even load your stream, and I've been trying to. Really? Yeah, I've, I've been assuming it's on my end for that. 
I've got clues stream up and going. I'm not, I'm not really watching it, but it is up and going. Yeah. I always bring them up. Yeah, I just leave it on uh, like server mute, so then that way it gives them a viewer. Yeah, I do the same thing. Okay, uh, everybody has rolled initiative. Why is this one not having initiative? And with that, we'll start round one. Alvar. Yeah. Can I get past him? We're just half legs. Two half legs, so I would say yes, you can make your way past him. Probably what half movement too. Yeah, I say half movement. That's about as far as I can get in. I mean, we do have nimbleness, but I don't know if it applies for when he's moving through us. It's always been a funny spot yeah. for me. Well, it is a, a small creature, so going through a space with a small creature, as long as you're not fighting him or trying to stop him, I don't think there should be a problem with it. Rules is written, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because it just says right, you just can move through the space of any creature of size larger than yours. That's all it says. Alright, what do you want to do, uh, Alamar? Uh, I guess I'll just pull out this longbow. Okay. I'll shoot the one right in front of me. Nice and lit up. Nice. Nice roll. Nice. And it's going to cost me an action just to pull that bow out, right? Um... I'm going to assume you're probably pulling it out as you're moving, right? Yeah, but what I'm saying is I probably wouldn't be able to get but one attack. Uh, as long as you're not dropping a weapon or whatever, you should be fine. Unless he wants to mess with it. He's cool. Yeah, I've always ruled that if you're yeah, sheathing and trying to bring out another, it's an action. But if you're just pulling one out, it's fine. Are you dropping the other one? I could. Well, that's your call, man. If you're dropping it, then you go ahead and take two attacks. If you're sheathing it, though, yeah, that does take a little bit. All right, I'll drop it. another hit. What the hell are you all shooting at? More. Some more of your friends. There's more snake people. That's my turn. Before the night's over, Vendor, you have to have a conversation with Vendor and Jax at the same time. <laughs> Please. Go ahead and lock the tiles down too.
Nice, nice. Very nice. I shoot a fireball at that one. And then that'll be it for me. Roth. All right. Just saying, I still can't get over how awesome that modifier is for your I'm damage. I'm going to. That's great. I'm going to uh, dash. I should be able to get right there for 60 feet. Okay. Yep. And I will. There's a bonus action. I'm going to put my hunter's mark on Yante 15. It's already on for some reason. I'll take it off so you can reapply it if you want. Yeah, it might be better. All right. Jack. And how was your uh, mini vacation there, Roth? Pretty good, I guess. How was uh, Christmas and everything for you, man? Not too bad at all. I mainly just kicked around the house and didn't do a whole lot of anything. My Eldritch Blast, one at each of the brute guards. Right one first. Man, did you guys see how fast I banned that dude? And then uh, the next one. Well, glad to have you back. Put that spam ass shit glad in my to be chat. Back as well. Been a little while since I've uh, really run a game, you know, from the regular stuff. Sunday was a one shot, so not the normal stuff. One shot to be continued. It's a two shot. And you'll see one step out. From back there. And it's 10 foot. You can hear him in the background. They're getting mad. So he moves over here to the right or left. And that's going to be his turn. Then number 15. He's going to move right there in front of Jack and Roth. And... He hasn't seen a threat yet from uh, Roth, so I think we're going to attack Jack. Let it be known, I never meant to kill Jack. I am going to try to bite you. And... You're able to dodge it, Jack. And then he's going to come back with his claw attacks. Swing it at your chest. And just hitting your armor. 
swinging his other claw, and he does hit you. Four, eight points of damage. That person dying in the music, that was Jack. Don't worry, guys. It's all being recorded. He can see exactly what happened. And a creature comes out from around the corner that you didn't see before. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fucking oh, oh, no. <laughs> Jack is going to be petrified. So... <laughs> So as Jack he comes immediately out, closes his eyes. It looks towards you all as it's coming out, and uh, for sure, for sure, Jack can spot it. Rolf, uh, would you look that way? Because I'm sure you don't want something sneaking up on you. Yeah, I'd have probably looked up that way. Okay, vendor. You are looking up that way. I mean, there's no way around it. Alamar, I think you got a uh, thing saving you there. A pillar. Man, if there is ever a time to roll low initiative, I'm glad I did. So, let me find you in the corner. Crossing my fingers. Alright. We're going to do the save and throw. Let's see who passes and who fails. God damn it. We got one save, Roth. Now, before we do anything, let's see here. Did Jack receive the bonus? He just rolled super low. It wouldn't even make a difference. Never mind. So... Actually, hold on a minute. Does it reach that far? I was reading that, actually. That's why I said hold on a minute. So, Vendor, you don't have to worry. He's too far away. Whew. I was about to say. I was so, like, that's far as heck. Yeah, yeah it, you're right. It, it's, it's so far that it goes to you, but not Storm. <laughs> well, I thought the pillar for Storm. Oh, lucky yeah, you. Yeah, Storm's kind of behind a pillar. He's got pillars in a kind of row there. It's kind of just... It, he could have saw it just walk past, but it wasn't looking at him at the time. Um, so it's within 30 feet of the Basilisk, and you can see each other. Well, it looks On like a Jack is... save, the creature magically begins to turn to stone and is restrained. It must repeat the saving throw at the end of its next turn. On a success, it ends. On a failure, then he is petrified. Oh, so, boy. let's make sure this ain't something if you fail by so many that you're automatically. So basically, he gets one more chance, it sounds like. Yeah, this is, I mean, second edition, you would have. Yeah, okay. I do not see anything about if you're, like, fell by... 10 or more or some crazy stuff. No, 5th edition doesn't have any of that stuff. You've either passed or succeed. There's no failing by more than X means that something different. No, there's some that are like that. Are there? Yeah, like the poison I used from you guys from the drow, that's like it. Uh, if you fail by 5 or more, you become unconscious. There's there's uh, quite a few actually that kind of come to mind, but yeah, there's definitely some. That's a bad son of a gun. What the hell's going on? It sounds like there's more than just a couple. Okay, so uh, Jack's turning to stone again. This Yanti back there is going to move forward a little bit. 
Yeah, Jack's getting stoned again. He likes getting stoned, don't he? And he's going to fire a short bow at Roth. Missing. He only moved 15, so then he's going to move again. And as you look down that way, Storm, you do see a very large creature in a pen. And it's Storm's turn. Sarah's All mama. Right. All right. Uh, Storm is coming up to this door, and I'm going to try to unlock this freaking door. As you look for a locking mechanism in order to use your uh, thieves tools on your lock picks, you do not see one. You get the impression that this is perhaps no, I'll a just magical zoomed out. It's probably lock. better for everyone to see the full thing. Then I'll zoom in when we Shit. get closer. All right. I'm just waiting Well, here. then with that, I will draw my scimitar and rapier like i said i said if, if that's if i go to it and like run my hands and there's no way to open it i'll just keep on moving five ten and fifteen here take an attack at this uh guy here And uh, as you run up and try to swing that right here, you just uh, swing wildly. You're a little All flustered, right. maybe, because you couldn't get in that door. You're a little bit of a panic. All right. Can I use my bonus action or not? Sure. Alright, swing with the scimitar with my bonus action. Nice hit. And then... I will move back the next 15 feet, 10, 15, move back here. I don't know how we're going to take that thing out up there. We just got to slow it down. Take it out from afar. I would be praying. All right. It's so like come around the corner. Well, there's definitely more than just a couple, but what the hell is that thing? So I point down the hall uh, towards the non-Nyanti creature. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't trust anything in here. Uh, got 15 more feet, so I'm going to move up to about here. And I know it's a far distance, so it'll probably be disadvantage. But I'm going to grab one of the darts off uh, my belt and just 
chuck it at it. You talking about it, the one that Jack's on? Uh, no one's dead. That one's dead. Oh, is that one dead? Yeah, is uh, yeah, fifteen's dead. Ooh, even at the disadvantage, it hits. Oh man, don't tell me my monitor is gonna mess up right now. Come on now. And then. Well, you know what? I feel like that's actually kind of meta. So, that'll be it. Um. Well, actually, I can throw another dart, right? Yeah. My uh, second attack. I'll try that one more time. It's kind of hard not to play metal with a basilisk when you just don't want to turn to stuff. Well, yeah, like I was going to say, like I duck behind like the pillar to break the line sight, uh, line of sight, but I've never seen this before as Akka, so yeah, it's definitely a meta-ass move. Oh, hell yeah! Fucking couple darts thrown at it. Huh, huh. Pierce them just a bit. And then that's it. Still not bad for a dart. Give me just a second. Woo! Two dart throws at disadvantage. Hit them both. I guess, uh... I guess Jack would know what, what is happening to him. The familiar feeling. So he'd probably call it out and be like, don't look at the weird lizard thing. Not again. <laughs> I definitely got to get rid of some of these darts. I have so many and they or 0.25 pounds a piece and when you're overweight All right, I'm back. That monitor's crapping out on me, so I had to switch my plug in around to the other one because base grounds was on the main one. Alright, so it is Brood Guard number 10's turn. He has 10, 20. He can make it all the way up there. If he chooses. He's going to move up here and attack Roth. First, he's going to try to bite you. Missing you. Come back with a claw attack, which does hit. For minimum damage. That'd been sad for three hit points of damage to knock you out of your concentration. Yeah, that did. Good thing that didn't happen. Yeah. You got. What did you cast? Or Hunter's Mark. Oh, that's right. He does swing again. There's claw attack and misses you. And it is You do spot a, another brood guard run by up north of y'all. Oh now the other monitor decided to work again. Runs off uh, 
out of y'all's view. And you hear a gong proceed to ring out. Well, they know we're here now. Yep. All right. That's going to be the end of his turn. This Round be number a long two. Ass fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. Well, since we're at the end of a round, we're only a few minutes away from the midway point. Rather than trying to get to another entire round, why don't we just go ahead and take our five minute break here? It's good with me. I actually got to make a work phone call. That works. Me and this late. Okay. Pretty important. I got. I was gonna like just wait as long as I could, but I have to be on the phone by like eight twenty-five, for just at least a couple of minutes. So, I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. See y'all in a few.
All right. Uh, seeing this other Yanti step up. Storm's going to step up here. And uh, can I take a swing at that Yanti? Mm, I'm going to say you're going to probably need to move up one more because of that pillar. Gotcha. What are you using? I got a, a rapier. Uh... I'll give you a negative two penalty to to use a rapier from behind that pillar. All right. I will swing it. I thought I've got that set up. Look nice. at that. That's, yeah, how you, that's how you overcome penalties, man. Absolutely. Lots of dice. Wow. And bonus to action dash. Lightly damaged. And they get another 20 feet. Aka. Uh oh, so, that's, a, that's either a high roll or we all load uh, roll. No, wait, what? Roll, roll low. <laughs> uh, that's what I meant. Did uh, J Was Jack able to communicate that? Uh, the fact of, uh, like, he knows that he's being petrified again? I would say he knows he would know, yeah. So then we can safely assume that we assume that, or we can safely assume that it's coming from the uh, basilisk and we can actually follow his direction. Then. Uh, I mean, well, what the Medusa was instantaneous because he failed like, what did he roll like a nat one or he just rolled super low? Um, mm, I just know he got petrified. Well, I would have. I was thinking that maybe it was just like a familiar feeling. Yeah, he definitely can tell something's going on and he feels like it's that basilisk that did it to him. Okay, well then keeping that in mind, I am going to maneuver and hold a, a booming blade action in case anything comes within my range but trying to, like, break the line of sight from the Basilisk with the pillar, then. And... That's it. Okay, Vendor. I'm gonna... Toss a firebolt down at Basilisk. I like all these crits. We might yeah, just live up because of it. Uh, we figured we'd toggle. It's about time. Apparently so. And you hit the hell out of that Basilisk. <laughs> Got him, buddy. Take it down quickly. We have to be able to stop Jack from turning to stone again. And let's see here. Oh. I'm also going to spiritual weapon. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works there, uh, Aka. I think this process has already started. It wouldn't matter if that basilisk died. Yeah, he's just got to pass a save. Yeah, Aka doesn't know how it works. I got you. Boop. It's it's fun playing a nine intelligence character. <laughs> oh, I Let's know. See, man. I'm gonna cast that at fourth level, so I get the extra damage. Okay.
That is a hit. Still good. So how do you want to do it? Good deal. After the firebolt hits it, uh, I conjure up my magical hammer, and it just comes in from the side before it could even look at it. It just crashes its skull onto the ground. And his skull splatters on the floor. Brains come out. Anything else? I think that's it for me. This fella here steps out, seeing you down there, Akka. He is going to, let me see here. Okay, he utters an incantation at you. Which you pass. After he uttered the incantation, he uh, had told you to turn around and start walking out the way you came. And you s felt a little bit of a feeling inside of you like you wanted to obey him but you come to your senses and you're like what the hell no I'm not doing what this guy tells me to do and then he hides again out of curiosity uh, was that anything to do with being frightened suggestion okay I was just curious if it rolled it at advantage if it was that's all as I know you added some new things, so I was curious if that worked. You got to test it for me. Okay. All right. We are back to Jack Witcher. Let me find the best list. Uh-oh. This is it. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, he made it. Oh. The plus seven. Okay, so at the end of his next turn on a success, the effect ends. So he uh, is no, he's not going to be petrified. He didn't die. <laughs> he got lucky. Oh. He got lucky, really, there, because he got that plus three from... Uh, I, I was going to say, luckily, Roth. Roth didn't go, because if Roth moved away, that might have killed him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Is that his turn? And I mean is yes, yeah, I guess at the end of his turn, so yeah. That is his turn. Alabar. Well I don't see anybody, so I'm gonna pick up my sword and cheat it. Okay. Alamar, there's definitely at least one more down here hiding behind the corner. Get your little ass up here. Can I see them now? You can see... Some of Brood Guard 8. The pillar that 
so Kosh is hiding behind is a little larger. He is trying to make sure that he's hidden. Well, it took my action to pick up that sword, didn't it? It did. Well, just to pick it up, you actually said you sheathed it, though, so yeah. Yeah, so that's my turn. Uh, Roth. All right. I'm going to move... Right there and attack Sokosh. <laughs> and I am going to use my great weapon master seat. Okay. As you were running up and you glanced over to your left, you did spot another basilisk which is chained over in a little alcove. Okay. Glue's being sneaky. And I will use my second attack to try again. Oh, did you miss? Oh. Same roll. And a same exact roll. Yep. Yeah. Dodge both that of them. We had to give all of our good rolls to Jack so he didn't die. <laughs> yeah, you yes, gave, you gave too much away, uh, Roth, to save his life. All right. Now, I mean, he rolled a six. As a uh, bonus action, I'll put Hunter's Mark on Sokosh. Okay. That would have sucked, man, for Jack to lose his life and not even be in here. He comes back. He's like, hey, guys, what did I miss? Yeah, we still got to tell him, though, he's going to watch the stream. Dude, you're not going to believe it. you got to watch the stream. Freak, right. him, freak him out. Yeah, everyone act like he died. Got it. This uh, uh, fruit guard comes over here and pulls. I knew it. Uh, a clip and basically letting the basilisk loose this bastard move him back out of the way round number three vendor oh, i have no idea that's going on so i'll move 25 feet which i probably still can't see anything I yelled down the hall, maskless. I'll say you can probably see eight. If it's by sight, I mean, he's going to have cover if you're trying to roll or attack roll up. Um, would, would that count for the spiritual weapon? I don't think so. I think you'd be good with a spiritual weapon. Yeah, all you got to do is be able to see where the spiritual weapon's going, right? And see whoever he's attacking. That's what I was thinking. So I'm going to move that. So about there. I can move it up to 20 feet with a bonus action and take another swing. Flap it. Whapping. Nice. Almost another one. So close. Low damage. But still damage. And if I were to firebolt, would that be half cover or more? Three quarter or three fourths? 
Yeah, I'm gonna roll three quarters cover on that one. Did you hit him with the? Uh... Okay, so superior cover. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that would be superior cover. That's a miss. Okay. Did it complete? And oh yeah, you did. Okay, I couldn't see it. And you see a more brood guard, another brood guard coming, and he's running, so he's going to actually take a dash. And he's going to put Roth in a flanking flank position, and then in his turn, Roth. All right. I am going to uh, attack Sokash again. Good roll. And nice damage. And second attack. That's more like it. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you yeah. take him down. Good job. Ring the gong now, you fuck. I think He's not the guard. Yeah. Yeah, well, he can't so now. Much. That one's dead. Step right up here, trying to put this statue between me and this basilisk as much as possible. Okay. And still not taking an attack of opportunity. Oh, I've moved my hunter's mark on to Blood Guard 3. Okay. Regard 8 moves over here to where you're at, and we'll try to bite and claw you. And missing with the bite. Hitting with the claw, first claw anyway. And missing with the last claw. And someone else is going to enter the fray. Oh no. He's going to dash to there, and that will be his turn. If I've noticed the uh, Triceratops, I would just like to ask my brother Is that Sarah? She got big. I'll respond to him. Uh... Oh, it's probably Sarah's mama. We have to save her. Mission impossible initiated. <laughs> and with that, um, we say goodbye to Roth. If a creature starts its turn within 30 feet of a basilisk and the two of them can see each other. The basilisk can force the creature to make the con saving throw. But if they've made a save against it, it doesn't matter. You're never immune to it. Okay. But it is not Rolf's turn. He didn't start his turn. With, well, I guess he did kind of start his turn within 30 foot of it, didn't he? Well, he was five foot away, so uh, 10, 20. Yeah, I was 30 feet away. Yep. You exactly were 30, 30. You went 35? 
No, okay, I was so thinking. I'm old. Okay. He was actually 31. Was 30, I'm still... How the hell is he 31? <laughs> He's just drawing an arrow. All right, I'm going to... Because you were 30 away. Uh, and I didn't do it on your turn. I'm going to go ahead and force the save at you. Okay. Oh, goddamn, you actually failed it. I thought you passed that. You got so much bonus to that. I thought I would too, but... Well, you didn't get the restrained effect last, you know, when you actually went, so I guess that's a bonus you got to actually uh, do something on your turn. That'll work. Um, and he is going to move. Right there. Here comes another enemy. Fifty five foot for a dash. Okay. He only needs to have go do sixty, so he's got it. Hey about got you boxed in, uh Roth. And restrained. Super advantage. Storm. Well, All I mean, right. he's the only one that's close. And these guys don't have a ranged attack, so... They're going to go for the one they can actually hit. Damn Obviously. these short legs of mine. Yeah, I mean, you're staying back there. Frontline fighter. I can only move 25 feet, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm working on it right now. Um, where the hell is my? Oh, there we go. Okay. I haven't used that, so I can use. It. Okay. Um, double check this. All right, using my feline agility. Wait, don't, don't, yeah, 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 hold up, 15. Don't move, uh, don't move until you, I'm still trying to figure out okay. how much, yeah. That was 15, right? So that's going to be 30, 35, 40. That's 50 feet of movement there. All right. Okay. Uh, can I make that movement or do I need to add? Yeah. I mean, I'm, there's a little slight different path that you can actually make that would actually still get you there with 35 foot of movement to where you're not going through the corner of the wall. Yeah, but, yeah, no, yeah. I was trying to go around that pillar. I wasn't sure if I can go to the other side of that pillar. That's fine. Yeah. So and then I'm gonna take. So that's that's uh, 50 feet of movement. Gonna take my attack on this guy. That's going to be... Why did that not target? Did it target him? Um, yeah. It says it's a okay, hit. Okay, it says it's a hit there. Okay, yeah. Twenty-six points of damage. Alright. And then, uh... Bonus action. I am... Moving here. 
back one more there. Around the corner. Roth, I'll do what I can for you. All right. And that's, uh... Alamore. God dang it. I guess I'm gonna cast Fireball. <laughs> okay. I don't care how big the roll is. Go ahead. I figure if I get closer up there towards the T-Rex or the tire of the Triceratops, it might not hurt you as bad. I mean, it's honestly not a bad idea in my opinion. I think that's a great idea. Wait, you're trying Do to you? kill Sarah's mother? Do you have a 20-foot cone or a circle? Uh, you just have to draw it with the uh, circle tool. I didn't know if it had a token or not, so I was getting that. It's not unless you coded yeah, it on the sheet. Yeah, you can move it. I mean, you just make a 20-foot circle like that and move it around. Multiple fireballs. How do you draw a circle? Right click, uh, and then you see the little pointer arrow. You click that, and then you got options. You want to do the, obviously, draw a circle. Okay. And then hold it and drag to make it bigger or smaller. I am getting new TVs. Nice. This damn weekend. I need a new monitor soon. The one, I mean, the main one's my, mine, mine. The other one was more or less, it was messed up. Person didn't want it. So I could put it out by the road. I was like, the hell with that? matches mine so i just left it on for an hour and the dang thing started working again it's been working ever since until i moved over here and i because she used to move it all over the place so i think she kind of messed it up and now that i've been moving it it's uh finally taking a crap what in the hell are you doing there man that's an awful big fireball you need to go down and you just gotta <laughs> yes that's uh, what she scroll. said Trying to get it to go down. That just made me worse. Wow, the vibrator sucks. <laughs> you got to find the edge over in the uh, southwest corner or part of the circle. There's a little square. You grab a hold of that and you can make it there. Yeah, you. I found it. All right, so is that where you want to put it? I guess so. I mean, I hate it, Ross, but what else you want me to do? Oh, my hey. gosh. Well, I mean, like, if Roth fails the saving throw, it doesn't matter how much damage you do to him. And if yeah. he goes down... If he, into a stone. if he goes yeah. down and gets knocked unconscious, it might be easier for us to save him anyways. Yeah, would he still turn into stone if he was unconscious? He would, right? Yeah, he's still gonna have to make that save. Well, I just mean so I like target all of them, right? If it does more damage, then we can get to him quicker. Okay, yeah, target all that stuff and Rolf as well, and then you'll do the uh, saving throw. It has been a long time since I've seen someone use a fireball. They don't even seem right when you're having the blue, light blue circle. It's yeah. like it should be red. I'm assuming it matches this dice color. Yeah, it does. All right. Roll the save out there. Let's see who passes oh and who fails. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should have nine things targeted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like you're missing something. 
you got one, two, three, three brood guards. There's actually four of them on the map. Yeah, I didn't have number seven. There's actually five of them. So you're missing two of those. You've got number three. The basilisk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got that one. And then you have Nalf, whatever his name is. Nalf. Yep. yep, you got them all now. It's a con save there. Yep, and I like the failures. Oh, oh, sorry, that's the wrong spell. What did you just do? I was sickening radiance. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, bless. I guess you're going to have to redo. Or that would that, be, that would probably right? be better for him, wouldn't it? No, you need to do because it's a deck save that he's going to have to make. So you need to do the save for the actual fireball. Do you want to take all them off before we do this twice? No, just go ahead and do the one from Fireball. Yeah, it shouldn't transfer over. I don't think so either. Seemed like there was was there just as many rolls? Roth failing so many Is saving rolls. Yep, yes. I failed it. Roth failed. Uh, Nuth, he passed. Basculus fell. fell. Um, I see a lot of successes though, so go ahead and roll damage. I don't know where the old rolls start and stop. Yeah, it's hard to see, but I finally found it. I just looked for the word save dexterity. We're at 22's at. Oh, I see a bunch of threes. Yeah, well, there was a lot of threes, wasn't it? That's all not right. that bad. So no, it's all it's all threes and three fives. Yeah, that's not terrible. All right. I'm still alive. Dang it! <laughs> oh, you got you got a couple of them, right, or just one? You only killed one. But one that was in close. And the basilisk, the basilisk is really close. Well, we got to go through critical, too. I don't know how much he's actually got. Okay. So, brute guard number 17 is going to. Come over here and hop on the basilisk. Excuse me? Okay. This guy's nuts. Are you going to throw another one of those, Alamar? Yes. Rinse and repeat. I'm just going to put them next to each other like that. I'm gonna try to like judge by where like the burn marks are and make sure like I kind of stay out of the radiance and kind of scanning the field, seeing the basilisk. I'm just gonna think, oh shit, there's another basilisk! Even though uh, Roth has already kind of called it out. and Break line of sight, grab one of the darts. Well, you were within 30 foot, but. He is, the way he's positioned behind that pillar, you don't have a good sight on seeing you, so I'm not going to make you roll. Oh, yeah, he did move forward. I was going to say it. 10, 15, 15. Yeah, damn, I was within 30. I didn't think I was, but that's fucking... Lucky because me. Of, yeah, because of the pillar. That's the only reason. That, that's your lucky charm at the moment. Hit the brood guard with another dart. And this leaves. Oh, this one not so good. Throw it again. And more damage. Ah, son of a bitch! Um, Aka is turned into a little wussy, man. He's throwing darts instead of getting I'm staying out of the fireball. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> He's, he said he was going to do another one. I'm not going up there. And that'll be the end of my turn. And I got a minus two darts. Jack. All right, Jack. Time to use some spells, Jack. Okay, I'll use spells. Thank you. Where where is this? There's no way he just doesn't have this spell. There it is. I'm gonna cast Hex on Broodguard three as a bonus action. Not me, target, Jack, target. Yeah, remember to click on the, the thing to switch over to him. Just yeah, I did it. The, yeah. Okay, that's on there. And now I'm going to Eldritch Blast twice. Wait. Why was it at disadvantage? That's what I'm wondering. Eldritch Blast, uh, Broodgar number three. I'm still restrained. Oh, um, yeah. So, what did it drop? The first one was a 12. So, it would have still been a hit. Level. Yeah, I mean, they're both yeah, hits. I was just no curious what. why it was at disadvantage, but yeah, the restrained makes sense. Alright, it's removed. Damage. Ooh, nice. Uh, this is the okay. I guess the hex isn't programmed right, so I'll just manually roll the d6, right? What's not programmed right? Hex. Have to do another D six, eh? Mm-hmm. Let me look at the spell. That's because you should have uh, hit that effect, that first one, to yourself. Oh, to myself. Oh, okay. It's already coded to yourself. All you do is hit it, and it's automatic to apply it to yourself. But yeah. Four points of damage will go okay, to him. Gotcha. Did you drag it on, or should I? Uh, you? Well, it's a manual die, so you ain't gonna be able to do it. That's, which one was it you was hitting? Three. Three. three? I'm trying to find him. In the tracker. Just uh, oh, in the tracker. Never mind. All right, I got him. Thank you. And I'll just do another Eldritch Blast. Because it was rolled out manual, it wasn't rolled out as actual damage. You can't just drag it to the no, there we go. Matt, almost max. You don't know how to treat it. You have to drag it literally to the dent or the wound box um, in the tracker. All right. Well, and Jack is hitting some stuff. 20 feet. Yes, he is. And now his die's rolling out. He heard there's another one and he dips back. You actually want to hit that other effect as well for concentration. Does that one go on me as well? Yes, yeah, concentration it should be on you. Let me see if it's coded to go towards you, though. That one you're going to have to just mainly drag and drop on yourself. Is there a certain check you want them to have a uh, disadvantage on? Uh, like, I just leave probably it. dexterity or something like that. 
I don't think he's gonna. I've never really had that come into play too much. Yeah. It's only on ability checks, it's not on saving throws. Okay, well, you got the con check on you. So. Is that it? Yep, it's just moving 20 south. Well, the monitor finally came back on. One more bird guard up to the north. 10, 20, 30, 40. He can dash all the way just to the right side of Roth. Using a uh, double movement going through his partner. So it puts him at 60. And round four is over. Ooh. North gets to go. Well, he's not going to change his mind at the moment. He's going to attack um, Roth. He's actually holding a scimitar. Roth, you are an awesome paladin. But I'm afraid your luck's going to run out. We'll see. Look at that. A disadvantage and still miss, but he's going to swing it again. Why a disadvantage? Or advantage, I mean. I was going to say, what? My bad. Oh, he does land a, a second hit. Yeah, he's flanked and restrained, I mean. Yeah. All right, so five points of damage. Not bad. Regard 19. Same thing, attack him off. Oh, I just thought of something. Because he's restrained, it probably screwed him over a bit more with the dex throw. Don't you roll disadvantage or fail him automatically or something? Possibly. Okay, the first claw misses. And the second call is a hit. And he Fuck. is down. Just enough. Yanti. Group guard number 17. Where is he at? He's the one that's on the damn basilisk. And actually, the basilisk is next in the order. So that'll work out just great. They're just going to ride together. Bird guard's gonna hold his action, and then the basilisk is gonna ride with him. Right there. I'm gonna put him right there so he's actually in melee range. He's gonna not be able to bite you. Being on the basilisk, but he's going to reach out. This is going to hinder his attacking. I'm just going to give him one claw attack. So I got lucky on that one. Oof. And then the basilisk is going to try to bite you. Aren't you lucky I didn't roll the basilisk first? And that's going to be it, Alamar. Wait, why am I lucky that it didn't roll first? 
because that 19 with the basilisk going on the bite would have uh, been a bite. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. You're, uh, I, I just, I don't know what it rolled like the dice. So, I mean, well, besides the basilisk, I'm, I obviously rolled a one. Alamar, where are you at? Let me see here. Hmm. As this thing moved up, were you trying to avert your eyes? I'd just say go on and make a roll. What is a good roll for that, Kyle? I think he's saying go ahead and make, like, the saving throw. Yeah, because I would still been looking forward. I mean, yeah, I mean that like the same thought kind of crossed my mind. Like, oh shit, I should close my eyes as the basilisk approaches, and then I was like, Ugh. I'll uh, like avert my eyes, but I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna provoke uh like advantage, and I don't know if we can really afford it. Roth. Death saving throw. And, well, I guess before you even do a death saving throw, might as well force you into this thing here. I don't know if unconscious is going to make you automatically fail to save, though. Probably, yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you one hit point back just to do the save first. Make sure you put, uh, you pull, but what's going to. Dude, it's the unconscious that's going to make him fail. Yeah, I already took it off. All right. So let me do the save. He passed. So he is not going to be hurt by that. But now let me put him back to the wounds and put unconscious back on him. All right, now you can do your death save. Come on, right. Roth. He's coming back when he saves now, so he ought to be good on this this save. Well, then again, I forget this is the hard one. Yep. Didn't even didn't even have a negative five figured into it. Okay, so your first one is a fail. You still got hope. Aka. Oh, we get to do a con save. Yep. Oh, what's up with y'all and felonies, man? We want to turn to stone. All them nat 20s, man. This is when y'all needed them. Well, I'm going to go ahead and still try to attack the basilisk. Okay. So feeling like myself become pretty stiff, I'm going to put giggity, by the way, uh, booming blade on myself. Now you'll roll the high. Nope. Oh, oh right. maybe not. Attack again, bonus action. Hey, you was traveling with the dart again. Oh, did I roll a dart? Shit, I'm not, I didn't mean to yeah, roll you're a dart. Yeah, you dart. I mean, it's the same roll. Well, it's still a hit. It's the same yeah, roll, but I, I didn't mean to actually do that. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, oh shit, wow. Max. Nice. I was like, why is he rolling his freaking dart when the guy's right in his face? Yeah, I mean, I had disadvantage anyways because I'm restrained, so it's literally the same roll. Uh, action surge, rinse and repeat. Another hit. And it's down. Nice. And yeah. then bonus action attempting to hit the brood guard. Oop, let me target him. Nice. 
If I die here, no, I killed it. And then, like, trying to move my legs uh, and be, um, being unable to, I'm just going to say in my brother's head, I think this might be it. Unless Sarah's mom saves me. It's okay. If you turn to stone, I'll carry you around until I can turn you back. Deal. They try Ceratops. Bursts out of this enclosure. That is not what I want to hear. I feel like Clue is being generous with it. I think he gave us one more turn after the fireball. <laughs> oh, it just dips. And starts proceeding north. Yanti Brute Guard number one. I mean, he was in a cage, man. I had him in a cage for a reason. He didn't want none of this crap. All right. Number one. Seeing as he feels like uh, Roth is down and out, and he did spy someone run around the corner over there a while ago, he's going to pursue... Storm. As soon as he comes around the corner, he does spot you. With his 30 foot of movement. So he will attack you. I have, have I landed a bite attack yet with these guys? I don't think so. Oh, but I usually come back and roll that one good. That's two ones in a row. And that 20 time? No, but close. <laughs> All right, so you did get clawed one time and only took two points of damage. You got some kind of resistance to it. Uncanny dodge. That would be it. Okay. Yes. Brute guard number seven. He is going to move up to there. Missing the fight. Ooh, miss, miss. Hitting with that one. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and shield. Okay. I'm probably going to so fail the con save anyways. But... No, you got plus five. I know, but I'm not expecting to. I've rolled shitty on all my good saves for some reason. I go, I do good on... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit. Hold on, you got to let me apply it, Clue. Calm down. Well, I mean, I know 21's going to miss if the other one misses, right? Correct. Yeah, I'm at 25 AC. Okay. Vendor. Did you take off the 7? I did. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I think you did, but I wasn't 100%. Thank you. Move my spiritual weapon in with a bonus action. been locked into combat for a while. Yeah, well, they did ring the alarm. I figured this was going to be a bit nice hit. Decent damage. And then the normal action will also hit. Again, decent damage. Who is going to save Roth? I was working on a plan, but now it's... I've got somebody in my way. 
Yeah, I just I kind of wanted them to clear away from him before I did anything. To be fair. But I don't know how good of an idea that was. I'm going to move over to there. All right, I'm going to I'm going to attack this guy that's right up in my face, I guess. Yes. Impeding your progress. That's a hit. You probably killed a guy with your damage. Or maybe not. You hit him pretty damn hard, though. I did. And now... Alright, it's gonna... I've gotta go around that gong. I can't go through it, right? Whatever that thing is there, I've gotta go around it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go around it. I mean, you could always try to go through this guy's square. You'll have to probably do it acrobatics for you. Or you can crawl or climb. That's what I meant to say. Um... All right, actually, yeah, I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna try and move through and use acrobatics to move through him. Okay. Parkour. Yeah. Still good. Yeah, I thought when I saw the die, I was like, "Man, that's bad," but I didn't realize you had a plus eleven. Yeah, no, I so move it somewhere uh, on the other side of it. One of those squares you're trying to get to. Is... Yeah, I'm just trying to go to there. That's going to count as, what, 10 feet of movement so far? Yeah. Thirty. And I'm going to use my bonus action to move that far there. And call that my movement. Okay. Jack. Jack's in the back now. You know what's funny about this is because Jack literally went blazing in the first time of combat. Got, you know, real combat. And... Yeah. Before you knew it, he was petrified. You know, not the very first encounter, but before you know it, he was petrified. So then he started really hanging back. Because he almost died at that uh, one place as well. Yeah, the the bird played the, the yeah. nest. Yeah, Eric Croker oh, no, place. Eric Croker, yeah. So the first time uh, Vendor gets to play Jack's character, he goes blazed in. <laughs> Once he gets turned to stone, and dies, uh, okay, he's learned. He's got to stay in the back. Brute Guard 3 goes down. Uh, as a bonus action, I'll just move the hex over to number 7. Okay. Put the thing on him so I just remember. Round five. Roth. Save and throw. Natural 20. Natural 20. Fuck. <laughs> I was saying, don't Ooh. get greedy. Just no natural one, please. Yeah. That was uh, that's the bad thing about this random order. He could have uh, that could have been his death right there, but fortunately for him, he rolled two higher than. You can't say so such things like that. that. So he's still alive, but he is on the verge of death. Yeah. 
Yachty 17. Where's this guy at? He's right in front of Aka. Smack and Aka. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go claw, claw, then bite. I don't know if I still have... Okay, yeah, I do. So, miss, miss. Block the next one with the shield, and then there's the oh, natural Oh, so I was get one. Well, that's it. I think that's the only way you can hit me is by rolling in that 20 with the shield up. Yeah. Yep. Got you for 11 points. And then it's your turn. Um, uh, I got to do my saving throw. The... Go ahead and do it manually, because I done deleted that token out. It'd just be quicker if you... Uh, All right. Just it was easy I'm just going to close my eyes. Nat 20, did Nat 20! Oh, shit! <laughs> I was just waiting for your guys' <laughs> reactions. <laughs> Literally closed my eyes. Uh, so you Ooh. are not petrified. Um, That's that it. That's the end of my the turn. Of your turn. Yeah. I remove restrained off of you. All Thank right, you. Bender. I think I lose my shield now too. So if you want to take that, uh, well, it's one full round. I don't know how you want to try to do that. I can't. Re I remember we talked about like how to code it, but I can't remember if I coded mine correctly. Yeah, I went ahead and took it off. All right. I'm well, looking at I actually where this guy's at in the initiative order. Take it take it off again. I, I meant to click the shield to bring up the information. Apologies. So I wanted to see. Oh, it's not even under the shield. It's under what the. Nope. And looks like a vendor is taking another one down. Oh, I forgot that. Move for you there. It's all right. Whew. What are you going to... Oh, you done ended your turn. Oh, yeah. Ahead of the curve. Triceratops. Now I get another one. Jack. So let's go ahead and move that hex. Yeah, the save was at the end of my turn, right? So, I mean, that's all I could do. Yeah. I saw my vendor, though. Oh. Yeah, vendor. Yeah, vendor. I hate that guy. One star. And then Eldritch Blast. Hit. Damage. Low damage. Higher damage. What higher damage? All right, roll your con. Come on, roll good, Adamar. Oh, see, judging from your face on the stream, you want us to fail. Nice. It dropped the Man. first roll. Why has he got advantage, though? You have advantage on the top section? Can... Okay. So yeah, I think it's his Warcaster, yeah. Right now, what can I do? Unfortunately, that's done at the end of your round. So you can't do anything. Storm. Uh, you uh, are possibly the last hope 
for Roth. I don't know uh, what you yeah, got. Yeah, because Vendor forgot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. That's why I was like, <laughs> Vendor, you got a shot. I no. realized after, I was like, oh, I shit. Know. <laughs> All right. I'm sitting over here thinking if you were doing Elder's Blast, I'm thinking, oh, he's going to leave Roth out to hang. Wait, does Jack have... All right. And then um, I've got a healing potion. I am going to use my action to feed that to Roth. Jack doesn't have any. He has spare the dying. He do, but he didn't that, have would, have, that would have done all we need. And he's really far away. Yeah, for sure. All right, so you're giving him a potion of what? Potion of healing. Okay. Um, you have one coated on you, Roth? I'm sure I do. Yeah, if you've got one, go ahead. If not, I'm sure I, I know I have one. I could probably modify it to target you. Five points back, and you are no longer unconscious. I just took that restrained off of you, too. I forgot to take it off earlier. All right. All right. And then I will use my bonus action to move back here. Leaving Roth by himself. <laughs> He's a big boy. <laughs> have you ever known? Uh, have you ever seen me stick around to see what happens afterwards? I get in, I hit, and I leave. I get in, I help, and I leave. Brood guard one has been patiently watching as you have uh, seemingly slipped by him. Does he have enough movement though? 10, 20, 30. He doesn't notice that Roth is conscious. So he's gonna come back and interrupt you again a little bit. Yes. And we miss. No, he also has not noticed. You can come up here and hit on Alamar. Yeah, you should. Why don't we do that instead? Flank you. He's actually got a little. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. Good lord. <laughs> we all know Aka can't keep his mouth shut. I just imagined him be like, yeah, attack him. And then he just turns. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, forget uh, about me. It. So, okay, 19's turn. That's actually he my taunt, notice. okay? Roth, You're welcome. <laughs> but he did see Storm come out. So he's going to go around the other side. And attack Storm. And jump kitty cat, but got hit on that last one. 
For five. Not much. And it's a half that. Oh, you didn't have your thing up? Apparently it, it didn't do it, yeah. I thought it was automatically doing it now. Yeah, I've got it up now. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of round six. Storm. I think everybody's back in the fight now. Yep. We're all we're all okay for now. Be very, very quiet until I get up. And then six more basilisks. Alright. Let me uh, see. Uh, I might be able to find some more. <laughs> <laughs> I give y'all what was in the module. I ain't trying to throw extra shit in there. Alright. First attack, I'm attacking. I'm attacking uh, Broodguard 1. I think I'm still targeting him, right? Yep. Action economy was what damn near did uh, Roth in. And then... Good hit. Oh, I'm trying to double check this. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to keep attacking the same guy with the, my bonus act. Nice roll. Not all the damage, though. Alright, and... Yeah, I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I am so tired. And I fuck yeah, no. I am going to move over here. Those Tuesday nights, man, kill me. And then getting up really early. All right, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right, Alimar. All right, let's pull out this sword. Do your thing, Alimar. Actually, I'm gonna cast uh, Shadow Blade. How how dark is it in here? There's lots of lights around you on the walls there. Well, I got advantage, so it don't matter. See if we can hit him. That is a hit. Nice. Looks like decent damage. Eight we can hit him points. again. Hit. That was with your bow. Yeah. Why are you trying to shoot with your bow there? 
I mean, it still would be a hit with your other weapon, though. Yeah, but that's why it gave me disadvantage. Yeah, but you still would have hit with the first one to drop 10 plus uh, 7 if you're attacking with your rapier. Now, even the 6 is a hit for you, so, I mean, the disadvantage didn't matter, but he did the same thing I did. He used, uh, like, your ranged thing, like I used my dart. No, they're so close together, they're still the same. That's my turn. Okay. Bender. Mr. Forget Roth guy. Just the That's healer. That's me. It's been a month. He I had forgot a, I was a healer. He had protecting his... Yeah. He, 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 protecting his brother is what he had in his mind. Oh, he's also playing another character. Let's give him a break. Yeah. Yeah. I still I mean, got to give him a hard time, though, man. Kyle? Protecting, protecting Akka is his main goal. I mean, he don't, he's not in our Tuesday campaign, so I got to mess with him when I can. Oh, Ooh. one day you guys will have a campaign together for a list, so that's for sure. Hopefully it ends by 10 p.m. Yeah, I'll make sure for the or, future games for you. Or it's a weekend. Anything else? Yes. Spiritual weapon. Ooh, that's a good roll. He's still living. I move fifteen. Let's drop back ten. Seventeen. And that's it. Keep wanting to say, okay, I'll turn my crit switch on, and I'm like, if I say that and it rolls a twenty, they were just they never don't believe me that I don't have one. Oh, uh, last last Plus night they they deal. rolled a few ones in a row, and I was like, hey, I found a switch to make you guys roll ones instead of me rolling natural twenties. <laughs> Thing on. Which one are you going to dodge? Though? That's the thing, or evade? Or is it any of them? I get one reaction to evade. Yeah. Uh, uncanny okay, dodge. Okay, so you don't you don't want you don't want to do that one. Uh yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, the first one that hits, yeah, I'll do that one. one point instead and the last one is a hit four four jack <laughs> Ross spit out of commission for so long and then you don't get a good initiative it's fine we just we ha we should take care of it for him 
Well, I'm going to plan right now. Um, since it's in between the Eldritch Blasts, I can't switch to Hex until after, right? I don't know how that works, man. Because I think it just splits off into two and they go at the same time. I think after one dies, you can move it. Yeah, um, but the blasts go off at the same time. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. going to do extra damage unless I take Hex off of me. And it shouldn't. Okay, I'll take it off for you. Technically, I think it's supposed to be like uh, like magic missile. You're supposed to call whoever's getting hit before you roll it. Oh, it didn't matter. Yeah, but that's yeah. a miss anyways. All right. You have bonus action you want to use? Hmm. Oh, he has no sorcery points left. Okay. Uh, nope. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess just move the hex. That's it. Okay. All right. Super rinse and repeat time where I turn after this brood guard falls after Jack uh, hits it with the Eldritch Blast. And then I will booming blade myself to. Uh, make sure I toggle advantage. And then... Shouldn't have to. Should automatically do advantage for you. Perfect. Well, then I'll untoggle it. Attacking the gentleman to my south. Sweet. Not sweet. Six points of damage. Bonus action swinging again. On a one die anyway. Another hit. There we go. Yeah. Uh, this one, as I connect once and it becomes encased with the booming blade uh, energy, I lift my mace back up and then just bring it down right on his shoulder enough to dislocate it and just like force him down to the ground. Okay. And he dies in a pool of blood as you force him down. Whack him. Whack a snake. Whack a snake. I like it. Roth, finally, you can do some damage. All right. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up and I'm going to uh, lay hands on myself. <laughs> I imagine so. Roth had a tough time in this encounter. Well, it wouldn't have been so bad, but they ganged up on him. <laughs> he put himself out there, and then y'all stayed back because somebody decided they want to use a fireball and everybody else was afraid to move up. I'm feeling hey. much better now. Storm's been right up here in the middle of it. You still got 15 foot of movement. You could get to uh, number one either way you go. I will go. Around that side and flank him. And. Uh, let me see here. Trying to think of what I can do as a bonus action. I was lay on hands action. All right, now there's not much I can do, so that'll be it. All right, number 19, same thing. Miss. Hit 
updates for the last one. I'm assuming you want to do your uh, uh, yeah. thing there, so you'll take two instead, so I'll remove three. Alamar. Right, let's see if we can get up there. This should be the last round, I hope, of combat. I would imagine. The way it's looking. I guess I'll get there and... I don't know what I'm going to do now. What are you trying to move again? Alamar? Did you hear me? No, I couldn't hear nothing. I said I was going to misty step right there on the other side of Roth. Gotcha. And I'm going to attack both of these guys. At least one twice. damage try it again another hit I didn't think that would have hit but You're you're in the shoot next, Roth. So get ready. That's my turn. Okay. All right. I'm going to attack uh, bridge guard number nineteen. I'm going to use my great weapon master's feet. Oh, miss. I'll do it again. How do you want to do that? Nope. Never mind. You missed. Wow. All right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, probably probably should have took that penalty to hit, man. Just saying. Probably not. He's a grown adult, you know. Let him. Do. <laughs> I know he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> he had advantage. I'd have done the same thing. Yeah. Right. All right, Vendor. Yeah, so. Roth, look at the bright side. You're not dead. Dashing. Exactly, I feel much better. All the way up to there, bonus action. I was trying to burn it off of you. I'll just move that up 20 feet. There's nothing else I can really do. Storm. I'll be there in All right. three turns. Alright, I'm going to move here. And 
attack. Bloodguard 19. I'm not sure that's the only one I've got. All right. And that is a hit. And uh, pretty much he's gonna die. We have and one point. Move back down here. And with my bonus action, attack this. See, my thought was you should have went for number one to where you had your uh, sneak attack because you probably would have killed him. Well, no, I would have, but, but that the, the, the one's been a critical for a while. Yeah, I, I had, had to hit on the other one. Oh, I don't, they've been attacking the OC. I've had number one at critical for a little while. I thought he was only one or two hit points. He's been at critical for like two. He's the one I've been pounding on. That's why I thought he was closer to death. It's pretty close, but unfortunately, he's going to get a turn. We'll be quick about it, too. Is that it? Yep, that's my, uh, yeah, uh, actually. He's going to step out. I'm going to step back here. I've been getting beat up enough. All right. So then I guess he's going to go after Roth. Never expected to get another turn, huh? No, I didn't. All right, Aka. Run them little legs. Wee! Dash action. I thought you were going to run to the side and throw a dart. I thought so, too, and then when he went straight to Neo Aka. Right. So he's dashing. Gets in behind it. And then I'm going to tell Vroth, this one's yours to kill. Get it. Jack. And then it's Jack's turn. By the way, I'm not like I, all my darts are like in my uh, the rest of my darts are in my backpack. I only had like a the four on my belt. So I have to dig okay. through my backpack for a turn. Can I not see past the statue? You can see it. Okay. We'll just try to end this. Yeah. I'm Both ready. going at it. I'm ready to go to bed. He's dead. He only had two hit points. Woo! Okay. All right. Yay. Combat is over. Oh my gosh, we did it. We saved Sarah's, Sarah's mama. Leave. We saved Sarah's mom, and none of us got petrified. Us, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll pick it back up next week with uh, whatever y'all decide to do after this combat has ended. Good job on taking down both of those encounters at the same um, time. Yep. And uh, hope everybody had fun. Uh, it's been three weeks that we didn't play. Sorry for the long pause in our gaming. One week was kind of out of my control. The other ones, where you just had the holidays, too much going on. Yeah, but those holidays yeah. were in your control. It's your fault. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we could have played and just whoever wasn't here what wouldn't have been here. Just like oh no, I was just busting what? on you. Uh, because you said, like, one's not your fault. The holidays definitely, like, where they land aren't your fault either. No, but I enjoy having some time off, too, occasionally. I mean, I didn't really want three straight weeks off, but, 
you know, I mean, it is, hey, it is what it is. Yep, exactly. It let us recharge our net 20s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I haven't been rolling as often now. I did get a couple in on the session, but we took them away from you. Y'all got more net 20s than I did. Yeah, we had to power down Clue. The three weeks off was actually a part of our plan. Yeah. The nerf patch yeah. came in. Yeah. All right. Anybody got anything you want to say before we end this thing? Well, if you enjoyed tonight, uh, make sure you drop Clue a follow. And if you want to see uh, other content, I know Clue has some other games. And if you really, really like D&D, uh, Bouncy and I have the homebrew world of Alyssa that I stream on my t- channel at twitch.tv slash hiphopokagedm. Basically Monday through Friday. Except for Wednesday. So join us then. Hope everyone has a good night. Well, I hope everyone has a better uh, 2021 than they had in 2020. That's the truth. Yeah. But good night, Clue. He's probably already asleep. (laughs) I'm close. All right, Joe. Good night, everybody.